Hello and welcome to Everything to Guppy, the Binding of Isaac podcast, where we cover every aspect of the Binding of Isaac series of video games. My name is Gary Butterfield, and with me as always is a man with the right stuff, Will Hughes. Hi, Gary. I really appreciate that vote of confidence. Because I, you know, sometimes I Because you're an astronaut. What? Because you're an astronaut. Oh, I guess I am an astronaut. I never thought about that before, but I am. We're we're all technically astronauts. Astronauts on the starship called Earth. That's really beautiful. That's some, like, Carl Sagan shit. I just made it up. Yeah. Don't come after a Sagan estate. We'll fight you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I think that the Sagan estate's got deep pockets, but I think uh, Duck Feed's got some deep pockets, and if we have to get in this fight, it'd be a good use of our time and money. You, you have adorable pockets. Ah, uh, Hear that, buddy? He's been being extremely lovey. Yeah, Gary, I noticed you went out of town, and I didn't get a call to hang out with pockets. I asked Levi to do it because he lives very, like across the street. <laughs> I know. In, in so. real life, I was like, oh, that's why. But in uh-huh. show life, I was like, let's resent this. <laughs> <laughs> show life. Yeah. Um, yeah, you can, you can definitely uh, come on, uh, come, come hang out with Pocket another time. Yeah. The, uh, I am, uh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, him. No. Blood rights. That's the item we're talking about today. Yep. Um, it is an active item. Mm-hmm. Unlimited recharge. Wow. Um, so you how can generous. As much as you want. Very generous. Uh, when you use it, you take a full heart of damage <laughs> in exchange for the Necronomicon effect. Yeah. Is it the same amount of damage? Yep. Yeah. 40, which is the same as a bomb as well. So, yeah. If you really think you're going to take a full fucking heart of damage in this room. Yep. There you go. Pound on blood rights. Take the damage yourself. Other than um, that, it's really not very good. Like, you know what? We've been through two very boring items this session. Mm-hmm. So I do appreciate it being interesting. It's it's much more interesting. It's really bad. Um, like, I never take this. I also get it confused with the razor blade, which is, like, a way better version. Yes. Of the same effect, I think. Um, or a similar effect. This is, like, the worst razor blade. And I get confused by it because they are both razor blades. Yeah, Gary. Uh, this is a straight razor with some blood on it. Yep. Uh, blood rights isn't anything that means anything in the context of this game. Nope. The closest... Like thing I could find was jus sanguinis, uh, which is where if your parents are citizens of a country, you are too. The um, well, according to the wiki, blood rights is a term which means you have the rights to certain things by way of blood. Yeah, like being citizen of a country. Yeah, Gary. I'm just saying that you duplicated the research Gary, I, that Gary, Wikipedia I, Mitch did. I choose to resent this. <laughs> yeah, you put it on your your show brain. <laughs> and uh, decided to resent it. Um, what are the edge cases? When is this okay? Uh, it makes Isaac's heart slightly like it makes because when you have Isaac's heart, you don't take damage from these kind of effects. Mm-hmm. Uh, you do take damage from Isaac's heart touching things because Isaac's heart is one of the most run ruining items in the game. Arguably the worst item in the game, or at yeah. least like my one of my least favorites. Like I hate Isaac's heart so much, and it, you had, it's very hard to unlock. Yeah, it's interesting. It's interesting. Oh. It's very bad. Sneezing. Oh. Sneeze. Oh. Gary, when if you I sneeze, was a... do you say sneeze? If I'm recording the sound of the sneeze and I'm trying to like warn the other person mm. and the listener. Yes, then Gary, yes. I do. I appreciate that. Gary, I choose to resent that question. All right. I like I, my so new catchphrase. I catch appreciate race. that. It wasn't a yeah. question, but that's, that's okay. Um, <laughs> and I declare it a question. <laughs> I choose to declare that statement a question. Um, so if you have Isaac's heart, you can just hammer away at this thing and you will do a bomb's worth of damage to everything in the screen as fast as you can press space. Yes. So what bosses tend to have like 200 health at the start. Yep. And right. significantly more yeah. later on. Like the dumb thing about this with Isaac's heart is you can still die. Oh yeah. <laughs> like the, the, I know all it takes, like, it feels like you just die just randomly and automatically from Isaac's heart, you know, it mm-hmm. kind of happens to you. Um, so you can just kind of do this. And if the guy jumps on, you know, if you're fighting hush or something, forget about it. Like 40 damage per space bar is nothing. Yeah. Forget about it. Forget about it. You will just still probably die to hush or die to any of the, like the late game super bosses. Yeah. Uh, obviously if you have a shield, uh, of some kind, yeah, you can mm-hmm. do this for a minute. Not like Alga's room or whatever. Um, the uh, but you cannot use this as soon as you get hit. So it doesn't like your temporary invis- invincibility you get from getting getting tagged uh-huh. does not protect you. 
Because that would make this good, too. It's like, well, if I get any way, I can do 40 damage to everything in the game. Yeah. You know? Um, doesn't work for that, unfortunately. You can't, you can't cheat the Razor. Can't cheat the Razor. Uh, also, Gary, I would like it if you started calling me the Razor. Uh, I resent that. Yeah. Request. I can resent I it all you like. It. You still have to do it. <laughs> yeah, all right, the Razor. <laughs> the uh, <laughs> will the Razor use. <laughs> nope, How I'm not get well... that nickname? Nope. Entertainment writing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> through your sharp wit? Nope. Nope. Through s- editing? His sharp editing skills? Nope. Also, the, uh, the Will Hughes part is gone. Yeah. Oh, just the Razor. Just the Razor. Your legendary love of the titular scooter. I do love those little scooters. I can't ride on one because I'm a large man. They seem fun. They do. I like the motorized scooters. I know that's an unpopular Portland opinion. But... They, uh, they left in Portland. I don't think they're around in Portland anymore. Yeah, they got raptured. They got raptured. They're still uh, in L.A. Ooh, good old and L.A. Butterfield. People people were ruder about them. So, about using them or not yeah, using them? Using them. Okay. Like People were, were like, you know, would get real close to you, behind you, going at full speed before they said anything. So you had to kind of dodge them. Beep, beep. Yeah. There was like, this guy was like wearing headphones, almost uh-huh. ran me down. Yeah. I would have died. That sounds like a Bob's Burgers character. It it does actually. Oh. It's pretty it's pretty ridic. Um, you can use this. The other way way to use this is to get your health down on purpose. Cool. So like you can get your red heart health down for horror of Babylon, or to get into a boss trap room. Yeah, because this will eat your uh, red hearts before it eats your soul hearts. Hmm. Uh, and that's really it. Yeah, you get this by uh, beating Satan with Samson. I was trying to get this. The Satan page isn't loading. The images aren't loading for me. I was trying to see if this is the worst fucking item you can get from beating Satan. But It's got to be up there, even though the Satan items are not great in general, as far as like what you get for beating him. It definitely depends on the character, but like, yeah. Yeah, you can get Serpent's Kiss from that. Serpent's Kiss is great. Serpent's Kiss is great. As as oh, you can get fucking Broken Onk. Yeah. Woof. 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 You ever uh, ra- shaved with a straight razor? I have not, Gary. Uh, I let Brayton do those things. Yep, Brayton did it for me. I would not trust anyone less than Brayton. Okay. To do it. How did it feel? Um, all right. Like, he, he had kind of built it up because Brayton's like a, a real grooming guy. Yeah, Brayton enjoys process. Yeah, he, he enjoys pro- That's a good, that's what a, what a nice way to put that. Yeah. Um, he, he enjoys process. Um, so he was just like, man, you never had that's great. And to me, it was more just like, I mean, the situation was pretty odd, uh-huh. uh, but to me, it's like, even just the sensation was more just kind of weird than like relaxing. Yeah. You know, you know what? I think actually I have, you know what? I'm, I, I think a barber has given me a, a straight razor. Mm. Uh, I guess it wasn't terribly memorable. It's a, it's just a weird thing to actually have happen. I did live with Brayton for like 10 months and I did not hear that offer get floated. In my yeah. direction. Yeah, he likes it. Which he, I, he I choose to like resent. It. Yeah. He um you know, he only shaves those he loves. You only shave the ones you love. Yeah, that's that classic line Shirt from, from Love's story. Yep. <laughs> the um I shave you. Love I means never having to say I'm sorry, I shave. Never having to shave your sorry. Yeah. <laughs> into into somebody's head. <laughs> the, love um, Gary, it's that classic line from Love Story. Love means never having to shave your jersey number into someone else's head. The head. Gary, did you play sports as a kid? Did I? No. Not at all? Um, I played a lot of sports as a kid. No, not really. I, I did wrestling for one day. <laughs> and uh, the uh, What? You've heard me talking about rest- this on a show before? I, I don't know if I talked about it on the show or any shows before. I did wrestling for one day, and it consisted of like running around the high school uh-huh. for like what felt like hours. And then uh, I was, you know, a big kid, a big guy. Uh, yeah. You know, I'm tall and, and fat. Um, and then they uh, they put me up against the uh, second biggest guy, who is a guy named Adam, who had that, like, whatever that kid disease is that just makes you smell like garbage. Yeah, yeah. It's like, called uh, bad parents, poor. No, 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 no. Like oh. the glandular one. Oh, Like okay. the one that makes you smell like a reptile house. Like. Okay. Um, so they put, he was the second biggest kid. And uh, so I had to, like rub up with him and i didn't have a, a you know a wrestling singlet because i just did it one day so i was wrestling and my pants kept falling down and the coach was just screaming and i kept pulling them back up and the coach was just screaming at me to ignore it 
<laughs> like it was me in this room surrounded by, by wrestling kids and me trying to pull up my pants and the coach would be like ignore your pants pin him pin him stop pulling up your pants stop pulling up your pants stop pulling up your pants pin him pin him stop pulling up your pants like getting down on the ground like like a you know when when like a, a referee does when you're about to pin somebody but just screaming for me not to pull up my pants Oh, you sad, um, fat child. <laughs> the, the, uh, thanks, Artra Show. Now over show realty or possibly dead <laughs> in DeKalb, Illinois. <laughs> like, That's amazing. Yeah. It was, uh, oh, it was, I feel like I just found your Rosetta Stone. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it does explain a lot. I, uh, Oh boy, uh, if you enjoy this show, and mm-hmm. I'm being sincere, I don't know how you could not. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, I, I just always just feel like it's it's nice when I, as somebody who has like kind of pathologically turned my life into content, when I stumble across something I'm not sure if I've said it on a show before, it's even a delight to me. Yeah. You know, it's like, well, I, yeah, I can't remember if I ever said that before. <laughs> and yeah, I'm glad it was Ignore you. Ignore because- them! Ignore them. Stop pulling up your p- Butterfield. <laughs> Stop pulling up your pants. What it hurt? Pin him. Like, it's like my balls are showing. Yeah, dude. just another team <laughs> hanging dong. Yeah, just like I'm going to be nude by the time I do this. And if I win, <laughs> like you don't understand high school, Archer Show. Like I don't win if I pin this guy while nude <laughs> with these high school boys. Like that's a lose condition. And <laughs> also I'm pathologically in love with winning, so I will get full. Yeah, <laughs> like Full. nobody wins if the tumescent large boy mm-hmm. pins the stink <laughs> child. <laughs> it's me, tumescent large boy. <laughs> tumescent large boy versus stink child. That's a good T-shirt too. Yeah, like as... done up with like a wrestling font or a boxing <laughs> like <laughs> like poster. That fight uh, refereed by Chipotle donkey sauce. Hmm. Uh, Patreon.com slash TV. Ratings and reviews. Good night. Stick horse. <laughs>